Hey, what's up, Shuma? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know a thing about One Piece. I've had... I have a lot of friends that, uh... are big fans of it, and they keep telling me. It's like, oh, you should watch One Piece. And then I look, and it has, like, 600 episodes. <laughs> I'm like, how do you even tackle something like that? Like... Even if you take out all the, like, obvious filler arcs, that's still, like... <laughs> dozens and dozens of hours you'd have to watch just like I can't I can't do that there's no way You know, I can watch, like, Kamen Rider and Super Sentai, you know, there are, like, hundreds and hundreds, like, it's over a thousand episodes now of Kamen Rider, but they're all in self-contained seasons, you know, and you can marathon them in, like, a week, easy. But approaching something like this that has hundreds, there's just, I, ca I can't do that, I get overwhelmed. But this game's really solid, I like it so far. Uh, I got this guy with the Tonfa. I should probably play as him at some point. Yeah, I, I I just can't do anime that's, you know, more than like two seasons worth. <clears throat> this game's got universal dash canceling, everybody is unique. It's pretty good stuff. <laughs> プルプルプルプルプル。<laughs> yeah, I've seen some footage.
I don't know. People told me the I, I played to the first game of this, and uh, you know it, it was like an abridged like version of the story in you know video game form. I thought it was like mildly interesting. They told it in a pretty good way. I don't want to play as this guy. <laughs> How do I just quit? Why do I have to save quit? Let me just quit. There's no soft reset? Really? I don't want to save. Like what? So I have to like mandatory interim save in this game or something? I don't know who any of these people are, so... <laughs> it's kind of just whatever. I know some of their names, and like... I read up on it a little bit when I played the first one. But that's it. I don't know, the first one gave me a pretty good impression of the series, but I'm not watching something that's like 600 episodes long. It's just not gonna happen. No way. I have no problem marathoning, like, a series if it's, like, a reasonable length, like, 40, 50 episodes, but 600? That's not even a hobby at that point. <laughs> it's like a, a part-time job. I don't know how, how, how people get, like, interested in, like, anime like this. You have to, like, pretty much be watching it from day one.
Uh, my friend, my friend, uh, bought this and, uh, we split on games. Uh, he bought this for himself and he, he just, uh, messaged me, like, last week. He's like, hey, I have that game if you want to play it. So I'm like, alright, I'll check it out. That's pretty much all there was to it. I enjoyed the first game of this, you know, as a casual, like, fan. You know, I don't really know anything about this series. It was a pretty solid game. A lot of people didn't like the platforming. I didn't find the platforming that bad. I really like the the dodge offset. That's pretty cool. I never really thought they would have that in a Muso game. They have it here. It's really well done too. Once again, you know, the age-old formula is true in this game. All the cool stuff in Musou games is in the spin-offs. <laughs> the main games don't get any cool stuff like this. Samurai Warriors 4 is like a prime example. This game's got universal dodge canceling, dodge offsets, fully unique characters. Such a huge contrast. I don't know why it's like that. It's like the guy that's in charge of the spin-offs, he should be in charge of the main series. Like, they need to give him more power in the company. He has like a lot of really cool ideas for these games and none of them make it into the main ones. It just it doesn't make any sense to me. I would love for a lot of the mechanics in this to make it into a, a mainline, like, Muso game, but... You don't want to do that for whatever reason. <clears throat> like, Hyrule Warriors looks legit. Like, they have, like, universal dodge canceling in there. Weapon fusion from the start. Like, looks like a pretty quality game. <laughs> game doesn't have anything. I know people thought it was harsh when I compared it to a Call of Duty game, but that's really what it is. It's not a bad game in its own right, it's just there's nothing special about it.
It really is rehashed, it's just the movesets especially, that's what makes it come off as such a lazy game. Is you have ancient movesets and they were replaced with, you know, they tried to like mix it up with the Godspeed strings, but they're functionally useless. They don't really add anything to the game. You know, if it hadn't been four years since Samurai Warriors 3, like, I think people would have given them a pass. But, that's a long time between installments, and they didn't really improve the game at all. I mean, Basara, to be fair, was not really a big improvement either, but the stuff that they added, you know, felt natural. It actually did, like, enhance the experience. I mean, not much that can be done after, like, the fourth installment, but they, they could have done something. Read the chat here. Having too much fun. Nah. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, I would assume if they're going to like overhaul it at all, uh, it'll probably be with their next gen game. That's like the only excuse they have, in my opinion. <laughs> it's not a next-gen game, so they figured they could recycle the assets. I hope that's the case. I would love to be excited to play a Samurai Warriors game again, but uh, after that last one, it's pretty hard.
は本拠地を食ってやろう強さが何か貴様らにも分かっただろうこれで終わりにしてやるぜいざ我らの最終兵器を解き放せ I don't know the Eggy uh, Spirit Dance, whatever they call it in English. That's a really cool mechanic. It's just, you know, everything you could do with that mechanic, you could do in the third one. It's literally no different in four. Like you can do like the exact same combos. It's just <laughs> no point. I mean, sure you can Eggy cancel out of the Godspeed attacks, but. What's the point in that? It doesn't really serve any purpose to do that, since it's only useful on peons.
Ah, oh, the combat in this game is so great. I don't even mind that you can't stagger things unless they're stunned. Like, the combat actually makes it work. <laughs> it doesn't really matter that you can't stagger anything unless they're stunned because you actually have defensive options. Like, this is the way all the games should be. Not just the spin-offs. Yeah, lock-on system, universal dodge canceling, the dodge offsets, like, why isn't this stuff in the main games? <laughs> the guy who does the spin-offs, like, he seriously needs to be in charge of everything. <clears throat> like, he knows what he's doing. よ。Oh, cool. I got an S rank. The levels are a little long for my taste, but the combat's so solid you don't notice. じゃないの。ただな。お前らが持ってるっていう第案か。悪いが、ただ政府や会ああ、そうか。正義なんてもんは立場によってすがと今は言える。フラッキ。ああ。多分霧の大やるがこ。ああ、そのうち。さあな。
Well, I can't afford a Wii U, so <laughs> kind of doesn't matter what I think of it. I mean, I watched the Nintendo Direct. It looked like a pretty legit game. <clears throat> but I don't have $250 for one, so... The only way I'm going to be able to play that game, unless I start making a lot more money off YouTube, is I do have a friend in the area who's, you know, married, you know, he has a kid and everything. He has two kids now, uh, he just had one that was just born. Uh, the only way I'm going to be able to play it is if uh, I beg him to let me borrow his. <clears throat> I think he'll probably be down to let me do it, but... I can't really make any promises. I mean, it looks like a cool game. I'm sure it would be great for my channel. Yeah, they do have a lot of people interested in that game that have never played a Musou game before, so... It would definitely bring in some new people. It's just, I can't really promise that I'm gonna get it. I mean, it looks pretty feature-heavy for the first game. Usually the first games in these spin-off Musou series aren't that great. Very lacking in content. That one looks pretty solid. <clears throat> I mean, they have like a full like adventure mode in there, like a full story mode. A whole bunch of characters for a first game. Uh, I doubt there's that many left. I mean, it's like a month away, right? And they're already kind of like stretching what they have in there. <clears throat> I mean, like some of those characters they have in that game, I've never even heard of before. <laughs> I don't know, Zelda doesn't really have a, a huge, like, pool of characters to choose from. <laughs> ジーさん。バカもん。やかやる。これは仲間。賞金。俺は賞金首に。困ったやつじゃな。そういう。とにかく。お前ら。じっこの上は。No, oh, that's right. It it's not a world wide wide release. That part doesn't make much sense to me. I mean, there's not going to be much voice acting in it. I don't know why they couldn't do it worldwide.
I don't know. The other thing I'm like cautious about in terms of getting that is I would be competing with a metric ass ton of like random let's players who have like hundreds of thousands of subscribers and who will suck at the game but you know they'll still get all the views because they have a bigger following so if I got that game uh, it would probably just be for me to play it I wouldn't like really go in hard on videos or anything I know for a fact that like all the shitty let's players that are terrible at games are gonna <laughs> take all the viewership for that easy I mean it's good to see new people like interested in these games but from like a YouTube partner standpoint it doesn't really seem like a safe game <laughs> to like invest a lot of time into at least like from a video production standpoint like that EX attacks video I did like the only reason I have so many views is because I got it out like as soon as humanly possible and the other big people in the community like Wonder Piero never made one so I was able to swoop up all those views but <laughs> with the first party Nintendo game all the fanboys are gonna come out It's got, I just checked uh, before I turned on my stream, it's got like 87,000 views right now, that's pretty crazy. <clears throat> I actually have a video going up uh, in like half an hour schedule pretty much explaining that to my viewers it's like you know I am interested in the game but I can't really like promise that I'm gonna get it That's what's nice about Muso games, you know, if you put a lot of time into those videos and you get them out in a reasonable amount of time, people will watch them. Because there's not as big of a pool of people, like, doing that stuff. You know, you get something like an Assassin's Creed game or Metal Gear or Final Fantasy. You know, barring all the copyright, you know, purges and stuff, that's, you have so much competition. You can dump hours and hours into those videos and no one will care because <laughs> someone will get the game leaked early and like make it in advance. That's why I don't I don't put emphasis on cutscenes on my channel. It seems like a great idea on paper, but it's the easiest thing to do. Like it doesn't require any actual skill in the game. <clears throat> uh, I the last one I finished was the Minish Cap. I thought that was a pretty good game. I rented that from GameFly. Uh, I completed the whole thing. I played through like part of Twilight Princess and shelved it. That was the last time I played anything from Zelda. <clears throat>
Oh no, I think that game's gonna be like the first Hokuto Muso. Like, that was a really great Muso game, and the main reason for that was they don't really have a big pool of characters to choose from. So, they chose to make the few characters in the game really unique and diverse. And I think that's how Hyrule Warriors is gonna turn out. I mean, they're already kind of like stretching, stretching it <laughs> with the the roster they have in there right now. I mean, they have like what some like random bug chick from Twilight Princess. Like nobody asked for her. <laughs> but they don't really have like a big pool, so I think the characters are gonna be really great in that game. Yeah, it, it came out at a time when I couldn't really record. I really liked that game, it was fun. And then the second one came out and just kind of ruined it all. That game was garbage. I, I couldn't even finish the demo to that game, it was so boring. I don't know what happened with that game. <laughs> they took like everything fun out of it. Like, hey, that feature was fun, let's take it out. Let's take out everything fun about the game. Let me see what it is you're saying, I can't... <laughs> I remember uh, on 360, there was this like, sports game that you needed like, a full game, like the achievement was like, you had to get like a full game or something, and I remember people used to like, literally like, designate times that everybody would log on. Because, you know, obviously it was a sports game, so you know, people don't really stick around that long. <laughs> you had to, like, literally arrange a time to, like, log on and get that achievement.
The worst is when it, it's like an online only achievement in like a $15 arcade game. <laughs> we have to get that in like the first month of the game's release. <laughs> Sometimes like the first week. <laughs> I don't know why they do that. It's like, it's kind of like counterproductive. <laughs> you know, they can do that kind of thing on something like, you know, Call of Duty. At least that's, you know, active, at least until the new one comes out. But when they do it on, like, random, like, niche games, it just makes no sense. <clears throat> Oh, this guy, genie guy, this guy with the huge arms. Oh. Aratanikuatajinbeの話によれば、とある大物海賊の呼びかけによっていくつかの海賊同盟が統合。まだ小規模とはいえ明らかに敵たき霧の中へ突入したルフィたちはその奥深くに島を発見
ここ来たことあるよな Hold on, I'm reading a message. <clears throat> All right. No, at least he's in a game where he can actually dodge. <laughs> if he was in Dynasty Warriors, man, he'd be garbage tier. That's why I don't play slow characters in those games. I don't like how the only way they have to defend themselves is using a muso. <clears throat> I don't know why they took out like the role canceling from Dynasty Warrior 6. That was the best part about that game. You could actually like defend yourself. Well, I hope Hyrule Warrior sells well. I mean, honestly, I don't think it's going to because of the console it's on, but hopefully it sells well and they give, I think his name is Hayashi. I think, I hope they give him more, uh, more control over these games. Like, the ideas these have shouldn't be stuck in random spin-offs. <clears throat> oh, I got two Muso bars. The funniest thing about the fighting game community is they say Dead or Alive is garbage and that there's no point in playing it, but last year at the Fall Classic, um, the kid won a, he was like, I think he was like 15 or 16 years old, he won more money than all the Capcom games did for first place. Like, he made a ton playing that, and, you know, people still have the audacity to say, oh, Dead or Alive is terrible. 
It's like, well, you know, instead of complaining about how Marvel gets no prize pools, <laughs> you could pick up that game and actually make some money. <laughs> I don't know how much he won, but Team Ninja like gave it a, a really big pop bonus. I used to play Dead or Alive 2. Uh, I like the tag combo system in that game. I never played it competitively or anything, but uh, I like the, the tag combo. It's pretty cool. I think that's what like started off my tag combo addiction. It's that game. Yeah, the, the Blaze Blue Finals were like a good look for that game because, you know, Coco Noe single handedly like destroyed that game. I stopped playing it because they put her in. That's all anybody was playing. Everybody was just playing her because she was like exponentially better than everybody else. But the, the finals at Evo, none of the Coco Noe's made it in the top eight. So it was actually interesting to watch. I know a lot of people uh, said they're like, oh, I never really cared about these stupid anime games, but that looks pretty fun. That's pretty cool. Most of the Capcom fanboys don't even give those games a chance. But I give them a pass with Blaze Blue after they added Coco Noe. That just totally ruined that game. No, that's literally all it was. I'm not exaggerating. Everybody was playing her. Like, you couldn't even, like, watch a stream of it anymore. Like, <laughs> you know, my friends uh, in NorCal, you know, they're, like, one of the biggest communities for that game. And even them, like, there were a lot of Kokonoe mirrors. I couldn't even watch it anymore, but apparently the patch, like, neutered her, like, slightly. Not, like, to uselessness, but enough to make it so people actually, like, play the rest of the game. <laughs> Hundred yen to compete.
800 yen or don't play the game at all. It's great, right? Okay, where is this bitch's true form or whatever? This is getting obnoxious. Why do they do stuff like this? Like, why can't it just be straightforward? This chick keeps coming back. Okay, how many times is this chick gonna come back? Like, can I get, like, a hint or something? Is there a time limit? No, oh, there is. I don't know, the problem with Arc System Works games is they just put out too many of them. They all compete with each other, that's why... That's why the, the anime community gets a lot of flack for only supporting one game. It's only partially their fault. A lot of it is just they're all made by one developer. <clears throat> like, th like this year they've got like a new Blaze Blue patch. They have Persona 2 and Guilty Gear Xer, and they're all competing with each other in the same, like, small, tight-knit community. <laughs> this is starting to piss me off. Like, how many times do I have to kill this chick? Like, I'm running all around the area, and there's no one here. This is just obnoxious. Why can't the allies find the true form or whatever? <laughs> Why do I have to do it? They don't do anything but stand there. Why can't they do this stupid objective? Well, I can't get over there. That's the thing. It's all locked off. I don't understand. <laughs> I was enjoying this until this stupid mission. I can't get over there. I don't know what it wants me to do. Oh, is it over here?
So what made that hard is if you look at the map here, where the maze is, uh, there's fog over by the area that you can actually enter, but the places that you can't enter on the map. So I kept running around in circles. <laughs> it was right there the whole time, but it was just like obscured by the map. I don't feel quite as stupid now, but whatever. Alright, yeah, uh, I feel not quite as dumb now. <laughs> I imagine that would be like barely visible on an SD TV. Because I had the, I've always had that problem, like before I got this new computer and monitor, like the maps on like modern Muso games are like barely legible. <laughs> Like, you couldn't see anything. It didn't matter how nice your TV was. It just showed up too small. It reminded me of when, um, the first Dead Rising came out. <clears throat> like, you couldn't read the text in that game if you were on an SD TV. Yeah. 
他にもいるんだ戦いたきゃそいつらとやれよ攻撃準備 Yeah, I remember I got the platinum on uh, Dynasty Warrior 7, and you could not read the map on that game on an SD TV. It was impossible. If it was anything that required the map, you were at a huge disadvantage. He just looks ridiculous. Now, the thing I don't like about this game is the levels are too long. Well, I could tell this game is like a huge commitment. I'm not sure how I like that. <laughs> I 
better go take that chick out first. Yeah, these levels are way too long. It should have ended like ages ago. Still going. The maps are pretty big too. Got that Samurai Warriors 4 syndrome. It's just things are huge for no real reason. <clears throat> well, that's okay. This isn't a new game. It's not like I'm playing it to make like super fancy videos or anything. It's just something for fun. Are you serious? Always like right when you're like trying to go somewhere that you have trouble. All right, well at least it's warranted. There's a bunch of dudes here. Ah, the cancels in this game are so great, though. It's good stuff.
Damn. Probably got one more stage of this in me. <laughs> Depending on how long the next one is. This is taking a long time. <clears throat> but I'm not really trying to go through this in a brisk pace or anything. It's just something that tied me over until Tales of No Combos 2 comes out in two weeks. <laughs> That'll keep me occupied for a while. Uh, the longer this game is, the better, really. I can tell it's a long game, just with how long these stages are. Seriously, more? That guy's badass, the guy with the cowboy hat. I played as him in the first one. He's cool, he does like all kinds of like fire punches and shit.
Okay, let me see what this is. Damn, there's a lot of characters. Many. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 51 characters? Damn. That's a whole ton of content. And I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> I have no clue who any of these dudes are. Yeah, I'll look up how to do these later. I'm not really in any hurry to go through this or anything. I'll do one more, and then uh, that's it for now. I need to do some off-stream videos. I'm working on a Rochi 2 Ultimate uh, review. So I want to get a bunch of daily videos done for the next couple days so I can take my time on that. There's no rush or anything, it's just uh, I would like to have it out before it gets localized. So sometime this month, I want to get that done. I have enough raw footage, I can actually put out something really professional. It's just taking the time to do it. <笑>そんな海賊王になるってこと。当たり前だろ。Yeah, I'm gonna do this, and uh, that's it for tonight. If these maps weren't so long, I would play it more. But they're all like 20 minutes.
がにしたつけは払ってもらうよい誰が相手でもやってねえお前を倒して俺さんもぶっ飛ばす一番大会長そうマルコ侮ってはならんなかなかやるよい<笑>I have a question for you guys. Um, is my Twitch, like,、uh, YouTube viewer you know, notification working? Because I turned that on so that more people would actually be aware that I, I stream and I don't just do YouTube videos, but I've, I've never actually tested it. Have you ever, have any of you,、um, you know, watched a video of mine and then get a notification that says that I'm streaming? So、I want to know if that's working. I'm not really interested in getting partnered on here or anything, but. Can you test right now? Just do me a quick favor. Just go to my channel and just watch a random video. There's one that was just scheduled to go up a couple minutes ago. You can watch that if you want. It should have something at the bottom. The bottom of the, the video window that says I'm streaming. Probably bugs or something. I'll fix it once I、uh, end for tonight. I'll try to fix it anyway. No? Okay. Alright, well, thanks. That would explain why. Nobody ever makes the jump from YouTube to here. I'll disable it and re -enable, re enable it and probably fix it. Thank、you 
I like how they just like come out of a dispensing machine. <laughs> There's just a dispensing machine of dudes in there that just come out. <laughs> it's so stupid. Like a vending machine of people. This guy's badass. I want to play as him. He's like the perfect character for me. He's like a martial artist. I played the first game of this. I thought it was pretty fun. I mean, they tried to do some new things with it with the platforming. I didn't mind it that much. I mean, it was pretty decent platforming. Not like the best I've ever played, but a lot of people didn't like that part of it. And it actually told the story to this in like a way that you could actually follow. Without watching, you know, a 60, 600 episode <laughs> anime. And I've always been curious about this series. I have a lot of my, like, real life friends are, like, super into it, but I just can't watch something that long, so. I'm 
I mean, it didn't get me to watch the show or anything, but at least I knew a little bit what they were talking about all the time. To wonder, like, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately curious, like, how many people actually get into something like this when it's already hundreds of episodes long? It can't be a big number. There's no way. Are you serious? There's more? I hate that shit. It's like, hey, spend all your resources and then just come back. What's up, Doxus? Like, just stay dead. No, 
I wasted all my resources and he still alive somehow. Die! Oh my god, how much health do you have? Watch him still be alive after this. Alright, I'm gonna check out this Phoenix guy, and then, uh, that's it for now. These levels are too long, you just get kind of burnt out really fast. ちょっと待って。最近、連合とか言いな。そうなのか。だが、白ひげ。それもそうね。おい、こ。うん。連合の。そこはおめえ。で。なんだよ。だが、まずは。だが、親父。ああ、今のおめえらじゃ。親父が言う。よろしくな。俺は今、別件でティーチってやっ。そうか。頑張れ。うん。<笑><笑> Nice, that's a really good skill.
And actually, I've been on for about two hours. It's going to take me forever to upload the video for this. So, I think I'm going to end it here. Um, I definitely want to play more of this game. It's really fun. So, uh, probably check back in the afternoon. Uh, I need to go do some stuff, but uh, I'll be on at some point uh, later today. It's already Wednesday, so at <laughs> some point later today I'll be on. But uh, I need to do some off-stream videos, and that's going to take a while. And uh, I was actually pretty active physically today, so I don't have as much juice in me. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't already, follow the stream. I'll be on uh, more often. Nice chatting with you guys. Uh, it's just this game. The levels are so long. Yeah, it's already Wednesday, so that's kind of why I'm saying I'll be back later today. <laughs> but yeah, uh, come back in the afternoon, whatever time zone you're in. I will see you guys later. Peace.